This is Christina Eve, and welcome back to my channel, Shine Strong, Live Long, where I inspire personal and spiritual development so that you and I become who we were designed to be with intentionality. Welcome to Shine Sessions, episode five, and today I am with nationally known recording artist. He's a singer, he is a musician, he is a producer, and his name is Johnny Ruffin Jr. Hey! <laughs> Woo, woo, woo. Hello, 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 everybody. <laughs> hey, so how, how you doing today? You sound like you're in a good mood. I am doing great. What about yourself? I'm doing good. So um, music, tell me about your music journey. Like how, how long ago did you discover that music was what you were designed to do? Wow. Well, as far as I know, at the age of three, as I was told, my grandmother told me I used to come over to her house and beat on her pots and pans with spoons or whatever I could find my hands to, to beat on with. Um, so because in church, you know what I'm saying, just seeing musicians doing what they do as a early age, as a young boy, and I'm, I'm like, wow, you know, it was fascinating. And so uh, once I got of age, I began to start playing strip, you know, having an interest into playing. And before you know it, bam. Wow. See, I saw um, online, I was reading your bio. How many musicians, I mean, how many like instruments do you play? Because I know it's a few, right? Yes, I play drums. I play keyboard, organ, you know, pretty much the same thing it has keys. I also play uh, bass guitar, lead guitar, and I have dabbled a little bit with horns and stuff like that, uh, trumpet and sax and stuff, but I'm not good at all. It was too much wind trying to, you know, <laughs> trying to put into those horns. Yeah, I understand. That's a special, special talent, special skill. So, but that's amazing. I know also that you produce music how yeah how is that and how did you get into from being a musician to producing yes well as a musician and as i was young growing up um i was a drummer and in the church that i was in we had some musicians that were uh, not so great and i was like man i would love to be able to do that and do what i'm doing you know playing drums so when it came to several instruments, uh, after I began to learn to play instruments, I actually went into a recording studio uh, with some guys. And from there, I took interest in producing. I was just a musician at that point. And so I took interest in producing, just looking at how the guy did this and did that. And so look, let me tell you what I started with. I had two cassette players. And what I would do is I would hit record on one cassette. I would uh, play the piano and I would, you know, like back then I had a little keyboard that had a drum beat on it. So the drum beat, the piano and everything was going at the same time. And so um, after I did that, I rewind that tape back. I played that one, hit record on the other one. So I was bouncing back and forth till I got the song completed back and forth. And so, and then I was blessed to be able to go into, I think I had a little small track machine. It might've been about four tracks or eight tracks or something like that. So it's been a long, 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 long time ago. And so from there, uh, I was told about the computer-based computer programs. And so once I got into computer-based programs, that came along and so it just started from there that i was in and out of other people's studios and as i learned and as i got around the right people to direct me in you know where we was going that that you know where i was going that helped me along the way to where i am now that i have artists that i've worked with grammy nominees i've worked with well both grammy and stella award winners I've actually produced for Stella nominee artists as well as myself. I'm nominated for several awards myself. That's amazing. That is amazing. That's some true dedication. Um, I can't even imagine trying to produce music using a cassette player. So that right, is right. So that's been a long time. We don't <laughs> even have cassette players, you know, like talking about now. 
Right. Yeah. So we're talking about you as a musician and the instrument uh-huh. you played, but like we didn't even get into the fact that you sing also. Don't so believe that. how long have you been singing? Has it been singing with the music the whole time or is that a later discovery? No, singing actually was the very first thing that I started with in the church choir. Uh, my mom was directing. And so, you know, I wanted to sing, but music was my main focus. And so a lot of times uh, I would go out and help people and stuff like that. I try to stay in the background as far as playing. And if they needed me to sing background, I would do it. But as far as being a lead singer and stuff like that, oh no. And it was almost like the Lord pushed me out there, said, look, I'm tired of you being in the back. I need you out front. And so I was like, man. And so uh, there was a young man that mentored me. He was an older guy that mentored me. And, uh, and I remember just as good, I was on a concert one night and uh, he was like, Johnny Ruffin, get off that bass guitar. And I'm like, huh? And so in front of all of these people, I had to stand in front. I mean, I mean, my legs were shaking worse than a salt shaker. <laughs> I don't know if I can say it about my butt cheeks and everything. I mean, I was just shaking. And so, <laughs> and so and what happened was I said, man, I don't know what to say. And he was just like, he stood behind me. He said, just follow my lead. And uh, so what I did was every time he would say something, I would say it in my own way. If he said something like, you know, say that the Lord is good. I was like, the Lord is good, you know, or something, you know, and that's how I began to develop, you know, and he would stand behind me and, uh, and he said, go ahead, go ahead, see, you know, and I will push something else out. Yeah, you know, whatever, whether we're wrong or right, I pushed it out there and the people were like, yeah, same, same. But I did. <laughs> so here it is. I am a singing musician. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm so glad that he went out of his way and he saw potential in you and pushed you forward because your music has blessed a lot of people. And so I'm personally, oh, yeah. I'm a fan, huge fan, because um, everything you produce, you really, it, it sounds great. So, you know, no question. Oh, no. You have, please send it my way. <laughs> I will. So you are releasing a brand new song. Tell us about your new single. Whoa! <laughs> yes, my new single is entitled I'm Gonna, Not Going To. It's country. I'm gonna, praise the Lord. And I wrote that song maybe a couple years ago. And uh, so, and I'm actually working on a new album, the whole project, at least about 12, 13, 14. I don't know how many songs I'm going to put on it yet. Right now, I have at least 10 or 11 or so right now so it's just a matter of you know where i'm gonna go gonna go with that and that's gonna be released in august but as far as the single i'm gonna praise the lord i did uh we i just finished recording that and it's it's ready for uh all digital downloads and it will be coming out on june the 19th Mm -hmm. of this month you know uh 2021 (laughs) and so uh um i actually had my nieces and my nephews my mom has over 30 grandkids so I called some of my nieces and nephews to come in and I said look I need y'all to help me with this song and so they was like okay okay and so and then I had my sisters which they are all singers my mom she's a singer so I after I had my nieces and nephews to come in I had my mom and my sisters to come in and kind of give it that adult sound as well on top of the kids singing so it's nice and full so it was a family uh gathering i played uh the bass guitar on it i played horns on it i played um the pianos and and so i called one of my buddies i said look man i need you to play some some good guitar on it and then i called another buddy said look man i need you play drums on this i said i play drums but i said there's a certain feel that I want with this song and I know you can do it. And sometimes you have to do that. You, you know, go to friends who know that, you know, this is something that they 
specialize in. And so when I called him, I said, this is what I need. I called the guitar player. I said, this is what I need. So uh, the guitar player came in the studio. And so uh, I, you know, as again, at being a producer, I produced the whole song. I mixed the song down. I did the whole works. That is incredible. I am so like, I, I listened to your song. Love okay. it. I, I hear everything that you're saying. I'm like, oh yeah, okay. I, okay. And his family, you guys, super talented, super, ta oh, you're gonna <laughs> super talented family. Um, and so I hope that you enjoy his single. Say the name one more time for us. I'm gonna praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm gonna praise the Lord available on streaming platforms by the all, the also talented Johnny Ruffin Jr. So June 19th, 2021 is when you're releasing your single and then your album is coming out soon. Tell me what is significant about that date? <laughs> What's significant about June the 19th, 2021 is, I, yes, I'm releasing my new single. I'm going to praise the Lord. But guess what, y'all? I'm about to jump the broom. I'm about to get hitched. I don't, I don't know what, whatever names you want to call it. I'm about to get married. That's going to be the day, y'all, that I say I do to my queen. <laughs> That is awesome. Congratulations for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, oh, your album is coming out. What's significant about that day, too? I heard a little something. Oh, Lord. Now, the album is coming out, and the title of the album is called Back to the Basics. Oh. And uh, and actually, uh, again, like I said, I have a few songs up there that I went back, and then I actually wrote songs, a little bit of everything. But the reason why that date is so special is because it's my birthday and I cry if I want to, cry if I want to. Yes, it is my birthday. I'm not going to tell you how old I will be, but just know I got a couple of pieces of gray hair and know that I am bald on top. So that'll, that'll tell you just a little bit. <laughs> well, that's awesome. So I guess, so everybody, I'm letting you know now that for his birthday, you need to Whoa. check out Back to the Basics. That's right. His album. And where will it, where can they find it? Well, hopefully if all goes well, it will be digital, digitally, you know, all that, whatever the word is, you know how to say it. It will be digitally. Uh, on all uh, digital media platforms like Apple Music, it will be on Spotify, it will be on Amazon, uh, all of the, you know, uh, whatever you, it, it's over hundreds or so, even now, you know, it should be on YouTube where you'll be able to sample it. But also I will have physical CDs. And so uh, if, 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 if we are friends on social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that kind of stuff like that. You can reach out to me. And, uh, uh, and, and I try not to have my CDs no more than $10, regardless how many, you know, songs I put up there. I would like to, you know, I try to make it that, you know, you know, we, we take $10 and go to, you know, McDonald's or Burger King or somewhere. So, you know, I try to keep it there. And, uh, but if I have to mail it, I would like to have a little shipping there. I'll pay the shipping cost. Now I'm just, you pay the shipping cost. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's awesome. So on social media, where, what is your name on social media so they can find you? My name is Johnny, J-O-H-N-N-Y, Ruffin, R-U-F-F-I-N. Junior, you got to put that junior behind it. There got to put the junior. So Johnny Ruffin Jr. So I'm so surprised. I have one more, I have one last question for you. Right? You good? Go ass away. Why gospel music? Why not comedy? Because you're hilarious. You know I that. I know so. people <laughs> tell me that all the time. But I will say a lot of times when I am performing on stage, uh, and I'll use the word performing when I, and I'll tell you why. When I am performing on stage. I add comedy to, you know, what I'm doing. So if I'm up there singing, you know, I might just dig in my pocket. You know, a song might say, uh, I don't have no money or I don't have any money. 
then I'll dig in my pocket. I'll be like, yo, sure don't, yo. Can anybody let me borrow 10 cents? You know, I'll say something crazy like that. But when the spirit of the Lord come upon me and, you know, we go into worship and, you know, and stuff like that, praise and worship, then that's a different, you know what I'm saying? You know, so so the, the, com the comedy part, yeah, I do add that to, you know, what I do as far as singing. But, uh, you know, like I said, once the Lord, you know, come on in and you start hearing folk hollering and screaming and shouting, snotting, sneezing and all that kind of stuff like that, then, you know, <laughs> then that's a different story then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Johnny Ruffin Jr., he's a performer. He also can lead you into that worship. He's a songwriter, singer, producer. He said, no. Don't believe it. <laughs> And his single is coming up right after this. Good gracious, same boy. The Bible says in Psalms 100, to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye land, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Come on, y'all, help me praise the Lord. Come on, everybody, are you ready to sing? 